When a community has been left behind for generations because of the color of their skin. When you've been denied job after job after job because you're black or because you're brown. Or when you go to the emergency room to have your baby, the fact that we have the highest maternal mortality rate in this country, and if you are a black woman, woman you are four times more likely to die in childbirth because that health care provider doesn't believe you when you say, I don't feel right because she doesn't value you or he doesn't value you. So institutional racism is real. It doesn't take away your pain or your suffering. It's just a different issue. Your suffering is just as important as a black or brown person suffering, but to fix the problems that are happening in a black community, you need far more transformational efforts that are targeted for real racism that exists every day. So if your son, is 15 years old and smokes pot. He smokes pot just as much as the black boy in his neighborhood and the Latino boy in his neighborhood, but that black and brown boy is four times more likely to be arrested. And when he's arrested, that um, criminal justice system might require him to pay bail, five or bucks. That kid does not have five or bucks. He might not be able to make bail. If it's an adult with a child at home and he's a single parent, if he's thrown in jail, no one is with his child. Doesn't matter what he says, I have to go home, I have a child at home, he's only 12, what am I gonna do? It doesn't matter. Imagine as a parent how you would feel so helpless. That's institutional racism. Your son will likely not have to deal with that because he is white. So when someone says white privilege, that's all they're talking about, is that his whiteness will mean that a police officer might give him a second chance. It might mean that he doesn't get incarcerated because he has just smoked a joint with his girlfriend. It might mean that he won't have to post, post bail. It means he might be able to show up to work the next day and not lose his job and not be in the cycle of poverty that never ends. That's all it is. Yeah. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.